The cardiovascular system and respiratory system provide vital support for our blood as well as our immune system. To begin with, blood circulates in the body through a network of vessels that begin and end at the heart, which is the circulatory pump. Actually, the heart has two pumps, which work in tandem to coordinate with the lungs, as well as the vessels, to keep blood moving constantly, delivering nutrients and removing waste from the tissues of the body. The process starts in the lungs, where red blood cells are exposed in tiny capillaries to air containing oxygen and carbon dioxide. Red cells exchange carbon dioxide for oxygen molecules and then flow to the heart where they are pumped through a network of artery vessels that transport the oxygenated blood throughout the body. Plasma, which is primarily made of water, provides fluidity in the vessels to keep blood cells flowing. Along with the oxygen carried by the red cells, Plasma also delivers vital nutrients to the tissue cells. When oxygen is released to the tissues, red blood cells then pick up carbon dioxide waste and then travel back to the heart through a network of veins. The heart then pumps the carbon-saturated blood back to the tiny capillaries in the lungs, where red cells release the carbon dioxide molecules in trade for fresh oxygen molecules, and this occurs in an endless cycle. The kidneys and skin also play key roles in helping filter and eliminate waste from the blood. The average adult has 5 liters of blood in the circulatory system, which is circulated and filtered 24 to 36 times every single day.